Yes, here we go. We're back for keeping the ball on the ground. Uh, we're sponsors, William Hill. Bet £10, get a free £30 bet. We've got Black Rooster as well. Tremendous. We've also got a very tremendous young man and very handsome, Scott Allen. Tell him he's handsome. Oh, see, I can't believe I, he's ended up sitting beside me. I'm absolutely sick. Yeah, I asked you requested to sit next to you. Absolutely. Sorry. I can't even believe it, big man. You he's looking amazing. He's actually better looking in real life than he is. He is gorgeous. Stunning. That's I'm the other place here, you know. <laughs> Scott, thanks here. for coming on, mate. Good to see you, boys. What was, uh, what was that kind of cobber? Smart cash? Ah, he's smart cash, isn't it? Like, it's like DiCaprio or something, isn't it? I can't even wear that. See if I wear a baggy shirt, I look horrific, eh? So it's quite baggy, but it looks cool. Look See if I wear it. He didn't make me baggy. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> 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 Brilliant, right. I need to tell you. Sorry, before you go. I seen your man at Saturday. <laughs> coaching. I heard you all walking about with a brolly, no joke. Is that true? What's reasons, isn't it? <laughs> no, but you always walk about there. I don't know, mate. I don't know. You heard the brolly up, didn't you? I seen I you. I the brolly up. I keep the kids Oh, you're joking five. me, man. Uh, so, but uh, I seen you at Broadwood, but somebody was saying that your, your, your missus had the brolly the week before and they were all calling her the goalie with the brolly. <laughs> oh, big man. <laughs> the goalie with the brolly. Okay, so yeah, I went with my man yesterday. What was it? Woke up, right? So I wasn't sure we got Shima Hedaf, right? No, Shima Hedaf, Shima Hedaf. And I was just walking, but I said, I don't, I can't do it. And then I ended up on the phone to get a parrot, right? You know what I mean? This is never a bill, I. John, <laughs> parrot? No, but winter side. Uh, so I was going to buy a parrot. 300 pounds. So I've said to the How boy, much? 300 side, right? Did I see that ring there? <laughs> What's the joke here? Parrot beat himself. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> and then I've said to the guy, I was like, so where is it to pick up? Now he said, say, so much should I do now? I was mean when I said, so I can pick it up. <laughs> so much should I? That was terrible, man. <laughs> that was true. That was rubbish. Oh, All right, we need to give a shout out as well. Boca. See, Boca won at the weekend, look. I know, spoke that. That's unbelievable, eh? Do you hear that? Two games to go. Have you spoke to President El President? Mate, I swear, mate, no word of lie. They kept sending his messages there. The, the coach is saying, thanks a lot, you're a big part of it. Mate, I know, no word of lie. Uh -huh. But they were two games, say, away for River Plate only had to win one game for the two. It was they two going for it, do you know that? No. Yeah. River Plate was the other team going for it. Right. And they, they blew up Sam Boca done it, so it's a massive, a massive weekend oh, for me, Kev. Mate, and super. brilliant for you, mate, Tevez, great how far he's came, because you and him were in that same house fire, weren't you? <laughs> Sam, you don't believe this. See, when I put the pictures up yesterday, right? See, the amount of people kept on saying to me, that's your twin, you cunt. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, eh? Oh, uh, Scotty, so you come to the Hydro, mate? I'll come to the Hydro, right? And we're going to get your man Cummins on? Oh, I'd love to get Cummins on. Got to get Can you sort it for us? Oh, aye, a million percent. You've got to get Cummins on. Before, I, before we start, Giza Cummins. Giza uh, Cummins story, come on. Everyone's got a Jason Cummins. Who was it? it was Josh Windass with the stake? Flung it in Dubai, were you there? Right? I was there, aye. I was there, eh? It was the state of the fucking state. The whole fucking place was just <laughs> just looking at this geezer. Jason Cummins, a wee blonde wig, stake up there, bang, up you get him folly. Just dodge a guy's shoulder and the place are up to you. Or his, or his, <laughs> even all the staff were clapping him. You know what he's like? He was like, he's like, well, honestly, he's like slaying his twin. Where, where did you play on? Hibs. Oh, Hibs, uh, Hibs first year, aye, yeah. Well, there's that many stories. Probably none you could actually probably say on. What, just on there, but, out, uh, no, but I can't wait for how do I see him? Can't wait to see him at Hydro. He's just a bit misunderstood coming because he's, he's not got a bad boy in his body. Well, a nice boy, uh, any boy that's ever played with him. Something to me, say. Nah, and that was Dubai. <laughs> and we're going to break an exclusive we, uh? open goal of going to Dubai. We've been, been invited to Dubai, haven't we, Sai? We've been invited over to the show, show in Dubai. and a four day thing. Um, oh, I can't wait to go there, Sai. Kev, are you one of the big boys that keeps his t shirt on the pool? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I've been a fucking t shirt coming <laughs> off my body. That's <laughs> a shirt. I've t shirt <laughs> tagged the whole way. Sai, 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 Sai. Somebody told me you one that used to be called Kev Kyle. Sam, what's your name? It was, uh, it was, it was Mike. Oops. Mike, what was your surname again? Oxmo. Oh. <laughs> Do you know? Mike Mike's, Oxmo. Mike's Oxmo. I <laughs> don't <laughs> 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 That's up there, I'm like the second worst joke I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you had me there at all. I right? was supposed to say, I didn't say what Mike's Oxmo. Who's he? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him oh, by the way, shocking. as well, we need to thank Lewis Capaldi warmed the high drop for us. Oh, sorry, mate, never said. I know he did, didn't he? But we have got somebody fatter and funnier than Kevin Kerr. Absolutely. Kel. And he's getting his own band for the hydro. Who is? Gastric band. <laughs> <laughs> and we've also got somebody, a better singer. You wait till you hear the songs this man's wrote for the hydro. Oh, I know. And he's got a worse haircut. I come up the house, I you want me to be doing the songs? I'm a. I'm going to come up and do them, but I need to come up the house and plan them all. Come up this week. 
Well, what, what do you think, Sai, when you, when you get that WhatsApp beep and uh, the song comes through, we the wee picture of the voice thing, Buzzing. and you listen to the song he's made up? Do you think it's good what I'm doing? Uh, I, I good. genuinely believe, right? Do you think that, so? That, could I be think, a number one, mate. There you go. I think it could be a number one. Do you think because so? the, 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 the popularity of Open Goal will take it to number one. And we all know what how much this? Glasgow oh, loves you, by the way. Scotland does? loves you. I mean, I don't know this weekend. I've been seeing, seeing as Craig Beatty, Sai. Have you? Yeah. Oh, with the comment you made about Celtic being easy. Well, uh, I said, of... what I said was Scott Wright, and I've no meant it at all in that way. I said Rangers handed Celtic the league. No, of course Celtic deserve the league. Do you know what I mean? Of course they deserve it. Any team that wins the league deserves it. But I mean, what was I mean? See if I came and played you at a game of pool, Kev Wright, and you beat me, I'd be off. I threw that away. Do you know what I mean, Sai? It was yeah. a, a wee comment like that. But Celtic are 10 points better off than they were last year. Correct, Sai. And Celtic have been absolutely magnificent this year. So, Sai, it was probably as bad as the one Craig Beatty said they flipped the question on the journalist. Sai, I'd love to flip him with a cable or slap his curly headed ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Wait, you say haircut as well. You used to go to the same barbers. Mate, I went for a stage trying to copy him, eh? Did you? Shit, you <laughs> Mate, and, and see, see my bird, my bird was like, this is like, by the way, you look like a wee British boy. Like, Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I know, but he plays in the hole, mate, and you've never been near a hole in your life. <laughs> uh, who's cutting your hair? Paula Trim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's got some Paul names, hasn't he? Oh, but let me shoot. I love Big Paul and Big Paul and Sarah right. tight on Twitter. Eh? We better get on because we've got loads to ask this man. Oh. It's amazing. First, it's first, sorry, when you go. No, no, Sai, it's just amazing to get him on. He's a, he's a player that we all appreciate, Sai, do you know what I mean? Somebody that I, uh, the ability wise, so it's amazing to get him on today, Big no, Man. It's, it's always good to get somebody current that's playing yeah. week in, week in, because that's what we talk about. We talk about all the, the current football in Scottish. It's always good to get somebody on, somebody that's happy to come on because obviously there's potential to absolutely rip the shit off. Yes. We just accept it. I get it done every <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> see, do you see the thing is, I, I hate when it's people like Scotty comes on or, or that because she been, I hate getting into arguments with good looking people. I can't even inside, do you know what I mean? Uh, Too much on me. Do you know what I mean, mate? Who are you going to argue with then? Who are you going to argue with then? Right, we're going to ask Scotty the first question I want to know. I think what everyone knows he's best known for. Uh, how many birds pictures have you liked on Instagram this week? <laughs> oh, you know, he's a serial oh, linker, mate. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm kidding, oh, that's uh, zero. <laughs> your pass Saturday, tough result Saturday, but what a pass again. Uh, just one of the games. Got a free ball in lockdown, mate, didn't you? You're amazing, that you want to? In between oh, the centre half and the field, mate. I love that's to see that. That's only the highlights. You missed her or six at fucking run through the goal in there. No, I'm not told, mate. But you're trying to get that. I, you, I seen the game you started, I thought you started off better than Aberdeen, didn't you? Aye, we were in control, obviously, get a sender off, eh, Whitaker goes off and it kind of swung the game and their momentum, they got the ball wide, you know how Aberdeen are playing, get the ball, swing balls in, they've got the boy Curtis Main attacking it. Fair point of view, it was disappointing because we should have just kind of shut up shop and just defended for our lives, but... I heard you were playing brilliant. I wouldn't be really playing brilliant, but we were. No playing brilliant at all. <laughs> we were. You, you've got a big question. We were Does, comfortable. Was Andy Constantine, did he smell of quavers? Five <laughs> quavers, that then he's put ten actually. He always scores against him. Right, he's doing well, isn't he? Aye. I think we Can should get Billy fair? Gilmore and Andy Constantine in the middle of the pitch for Scotland. Well, imagine that the difference he made to. To be wow. fair, since we've started going for, going for big Andy, he's, he's turned up he? six, seven goals I think, this season. Scary. Do you get him in Scotland too? Right, ask a, ask a, <laughs> right, sorry, enough of the jokes, ask a serious question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack Ross, what's good about Jack Ross? Everyone says he's a good, good manager, yeah. but what, what makes him good? Just these mannerisms and obviously the way he, he talks to his players, he's really calm. So obviously when I was at Hibs and my last loan spell, it was Lenny, so anything was possible after the games, you know what I mean? But with Jack Ross, he's, he's really calm and there's a bit of freedom there for us to go and play. And I think that was the, the difference between him and, and Heckenbottom, who, to be fair to Heckenbottom, he, he gave everything, do you know what I mean? It just, it just wasn't working for us. Was he a mouse? <laughs> 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 I wanted to know that, so I just wanted to if that was true, if it was a mouse. I would, uh, I, I know him, but obviously he knows him later on in life. I knew him from a younger age today. Oh, you should have. You loved him, didn't you? But no, you seemed like a lad. He was in my youth team. Hey, he was. Hi. I'm, I know I'm not that old. Is he a good player, that? That must be a good dressing room, eh? <laughs> I'm not laughing at changing the name. You wouldn't know you weren't in many. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all right. Um, but anyway, you're in the hydro dressing room. That's all that matters. Um, so no, he came is all right. He was a really quiet guy. I was surprised at how he's because he, he left something went to Barnsley and then he just kind of went on a great uh, managerial run at and then obviously ended at Hibs. Uh -huh. Who uh, who was when you were at Hibs? Who was Jalen Lenny sir? Who would get him in jail? Uh, Alan Combe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scotty! <laughs> <laughs> Don't that by you. Uh, we've, I've got a done here is you and Jack, would you go with this? You and Jack Ross are the best looking 
player and manager combo in the SPL. No, no chance. Second. Brian Rice, Ziggy Gordon. <laughs> no, no second. Linear Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant. Uh, but he's bet he's I bet him hundred quid. He's got Hibs finishing third. As soon as Jack Ross came in, mate, he got the best out of you, I think. Uh, it's a great one we all see, say, isn't it? When we see Hibs have got top players. But uh, haven't they really, have they? Scotty. Always just fought out to Scotty, didn't it really? Mm -hmm. I'm so far up his ass that it's unbelievable. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> Simon, Simon did say that Hibs had the hearts had a better squad than Hibs, so he explained no, that still to go Scotty, why would you? Think so. I think player wise, uh huh? Got internationals everywhere in the Washington, no, Naismith. Well, Rangers are back to winning Wayside, do you know what I mean? So, see against. Do you think they're going to face it very stern and tough against Leverkusen on Thursday night? I think they'll need to raise their game massively because yeah. see that yesterday, that was 90 minutes of absolute horrible viewing. <laughs> if you go to the cinema and watch the worst of a film, that was worse. Right. It's horrific. I know, but going up to Ross County on that pitch, I had me bubbles. I know, but I'm not, I'm not saying to, to, to the two teams, I think just the conditions, the park, everything, it was just. Oh, the park's all bad, you know. I mean, Pitodi was all right for a change, you know what I mean? Mm. That's usually bad, but well, your pitch is shocking. The, the reason, so there was, see, one day in February, there was more rain, and one day in February, it was the whole of last year, say. Was it really? Yeah, so that's probably why the pitches are like a kind Sean of... Sean Batty, thanks. See, the, <laughs> very much see, all the, see all the pitches, Scott, are you playing on them? Are they all as bad as each normal now? Or is aye, there ones that stick out? Or? Aye, worst I've ever seen. I was when we played there. I know, it um, bad, eh? Couple of weeks ago. It was as well, worst, worst experience. It doesn't help. You're helps. trying to promote good, attractive football and promote the game, but when the pitches are that bad, it's very, very difficult. Uh -huh. You've played the Rangers this year. What, 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 what do you think it's down to? Why were they so good before the, the break? And now they're struggling so much. Oh, honestly, well, honestly, I don't know. Baffling, just, isn't it? Just maybe a, the, the pressure, you know what I mean? Coming back and, and being in a, a commanding position, especially after that, that result with the, uh, before the end of the year, before the break. So my guess is as good as anybody's. But when we played them, especially the game we played, I was the 6 1 game, they were, they were outstanding that day. Mm. Probably the, the hardest team we played, uh, faced all year. Who was good for them that day? Just as a unit, they were just relentless, and that was. It was like fucking hell, we couldn't get an hour and a half and we were we were actually two one with like fifteen minutes to go, but it could have been could have been a lot worse than six one that day for us. Scary, isn't it? The, the difference. That's what I think we, we keep talking about every week and nobody's actually come up with the answer. Nobody will ever come up with the answer. Do you think it's just a case of too much pressure on the players that are there and the pressure's been zapped out the pressure's too much that the comms is zapped out of them? I, actually, I honestly couldn't yeah. tell you, mate. It's crazy like you I mean you're, you're right because but see with the confidence side. They went and beat Bragg home and away, which is bizarre. I know. How can you beat a team like that? Like, it wouldn't surprise you if they went and gave Leverkusen um, right, a right good game over yeah. two games. I think, obviously I, the I think the actual, there's actual more teams in the league this year that can get results off each other this year. That's yeah, who's I'd good in the league? Motherwell are decent, aren't they? Even when we played St Marin, they've made it really hard for us. Mm. Uh, obviously, they're near the bottom. You look at Hearts, four points adrift and the squad they've got, the players. So yeah. when they're on it, they're still I think, good players, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, Motherwell as well. So. I think on their day, anybody can beat anybody, and it's, it's kind of proved that. Great weekend for Scotland as well. Paul Sam. Slane, Billy Gilmore, Lee Griffiths is scoring. Will Griff lead the line against Israel? Yes, yeah, Sai. Uh, he's got to, Sai. And I'm going to say this well. about Lee Griffiths, Sai. Go ahead. This is absolutely exceptional. Is this you getting back on good books with Celtic fans? Absolutely. I will say everything good to Celtic now. I will never say a bad word about them. But see, with Lee Griffiths, Sai, to come back. His mental strength must be so strong, Sai, to come back to the level he's got to, He was written off, Sai, by majority of people, Sai. And no, and no, and no, really, it looked like that. He wasn't getting played with Celtic, Sai. It looked like he And to come back, and uh, I think you're right, Sai. I think he has changed Celtic season, do you? Yeah, Sai? definitely, uh -huh. I Kev, just think you're a striker, like, you know. I know. Like, Slaney, like, before the forget something about the Fitma thing now, the, the mental side of his game, to go from where he has been to where he is now, that that's that's applauded because all football fans in the country jumped all over the top of Lee Griffiths at one point, and I think it was unfair because um, we've all got our own problems at home, um, away from football and things like that. So for me, as a Scotland fan, um, this is what we need with two big games coming up. It's great for the country because he looks like he is back to that confident wee guy who just loves playing the part and hitting shots for anywhere and it's, it's going and he's trying things. He's like his second goal at the weekend, the, gotcha. the, the play on the edge of the box, the one-two, the skill, it was superb. And the wee dink. The wee dink Lovely at the end of things. Right? What was uh, see with, with Griffiths, what was you like about the changing room, Scotty? Really quiet. Was really quiet. Like? I used to just come in, do his own his own thing, basically, wasn't he? I thought he'd have been that. You'd be he quiet. No, he's not no loud. He's not loud. No loud at all. He's quite, he's quite daft, I've, isn't he? I've known him a lot. I've mean, no daft and like, you know, just no loud. He's just 
daft if you ask my question, he's lit most people for mm -hmm. For the, the areas in Edinburgh, like Cummins, him, they're all kind of the same, even Sparky <laughs> McNulty. The three of them. Deke's boys. not the same, they're quiet. they're all just John, mad, aye. Is he, aye? Uh, yeah. But well, like really quiet about the changing. Draft, uh, uh, like, stupid, but was it Mackay Stevens? Were you there when he told that story about the trainers? Did you see that? No, what did he say? <laughs> he got two trainers that are too big and griff, says, I'll take them off you and give them a hill. And he says, I'm still waiting. Uh, uh, <laughs> might have been a pair of Yeezys, in fact. Yeah, that was What a boy. All right, need to talk about Billy Gilmore, man. Now, see when I'm talking when I was Kenny McTominay, this is what I mean. This is a proper midfield player, mate. McTominay scored yesterday, didn't he? I know what I mean. Okay. See if you can't score that goal playing for Man United, it's, it's about right. 20 yards. Okay. Everyone's making it like anyway, Gilmore, mate, passing the ball forward, wants the ball all the time. Slight. I actually was doing my nothing that Alonso kept kicking the ball up the pitch instead of passing it into him. What a player. Miss There's talk that he's not gonna start, he's not even gonna be in the squad for Scotland today. He, he needs to start for me. Scotland are missing that sitter that can pass the ball into him again. Barry McGregor. Ferguson, isn't it? Barry Ferguson type. Well, who, who's, no, who's, who's not had that in the squad? I think he's come out in the day in the daily record that's in the record record squad. We'll talk about that while we're a shite no, anyway, no. right. Um, <laughs> would you get him in, Scotty? Would you get aye. him in the squad? Aye. Imagine you playing the whole him banging boys into you. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Oh, it'd be outstanding, that, aye. It'd be amazing. Instead, you've got <laughs> I would love to just bang into that whole site and um, <laughs> <laughs> refer to um, Billy Gilmore. You cannot get much better credit, say, um, than when Roy Keane said he's world class. Wow. Aye. Now, he doesn't really say praise much. People say, unless he deserves it. And uh, that was exceptional to hear that. And he is, I watched him, like, he goes forward with the ball. He, he's actually, I never realised when I, when I heard people talking for years, he could get in the dirty side as well, Sai, mm. which I love. Do you know what I mean? Yes. We all love the dirty Head's side. Head's on a swivel, aren't it? Sai, we, all love, the we all love the dirty but side. But in, in saying that, every time you opened the ball, he just did the pass, he like to bang it, bang it. There's always somebody there for him. For him, he's it's easier so. playing with good players, isn't it? If, if you have that ability to start with, yeah. he's obviously got that way he receives the ball now. But it was just how hungry he was to get the ball uh, that I love, do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's yeah. where he takes Aye. the ball. Like you take it, it in tight take situations, it yeah, yeah. He knows he's the realness of the pitch. Fucking brilliant. Unbelievable. And well done, Billy. Well done. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'd love to. Love I know he was on Grado's podcast. We're big fans of Grado, the man himself. But we'd love to get Billy on, wouldn't we, say? Or oh, even go down. Or even go down to Chelsea. Aye, Billy. You know what I'm missing. Love to go down to Chelsea, sign that with Chelsea. Aye. Yeah. Just getting amongst the players, isn't it? Oh, sign that. I'd love to go back. I mean, that wee kit, man. He's still doing it. That wee kit, man. We miss our Billy. Aye, Billy. Aye. Do you think he's there anymore? No, I've heard the stories. Maybe mental, aren't he? He was a scorer. Kit man, a physio. Miss our. Got your name, mate. Right, we're going to talk about Scotty Allen's career. Let's give him a wee round of applause for his career, yeah, by yeah. Right, Tremendous right. career. What a player. Right, Kev, you can ask the first one, you go, mate. Right, on your career, wee man. Started <laughs> off at you did United, full of maniacs in that dressing room. Who was the worst? Read right off his script, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a horse, didn't he? Right. Yeah, wee man, honestly, I can't remember what they told me 20 minutes ago, so just be a me, right? <laughs> Not a problem. Maniacs in that dressing room, Scott, who are we talking? Johnny Russell, Brophy, good one, eh? Yeah, Brophy. Uh, Brophy's a boxer now, isn't he? Brophy's a boxer, eh? Uh -huh. Is that the boy from Kamarnock? David Brophy. Oh, no, that's fair game. <laughs> the Wolf. I don't like the Wolf. <laughs> what was he used to do? Was it Dig for Dig? They used to do submission matches and that. Uh, Good Willie choked out Brophy, who's now a boxer, one night. Uh, that place was just 16 years in the one house, obviously. Was it? Fair, and oh, Perth Road, I 16? That must have been amazing, but was it not? It was an old folks' home. Obviously, for us, just to go in, like ghost stories and that. So, a creepy place at night. Was it still, still old people still in it? Hi there. <laughs> Oh, are they actually? I had the dead bodies. Oh, well, I thought they were still an old folks home using that, would you just go all the time? Fat Sam's, mate, what a gaff, man. No, it'd, it'd be fair, by the time by the time I had got there, it was Stevie Campbell's, the youth team manager, so it was a lot stricter, so nice, not much, did, uh, I, not much. Stevie what, did you just do jobs in that? Aye, jobs. We'd done everything, washed the buses, the kit, we were eight to five every day, double sessions as well. That's the one thing I say, but then we done double sessions, football every day, not just football in the morning, squats, squats, and I mean, that's the way I'd... Uh, gym in the afternoon uh, all the time, innit? So you were out with the we football? Were out, aye, uh, we were always out in the afternoon with Steve, and that was one of the best things about Dundee United. What about older players? Who was good, good with you? Who was good with me at Dundee United? Obviously, Johnny and that were in the first team before me, so it was always easy for me to kind of to kind of settle in. Uh, Lee Wilkie, remember him? Oh, big Silky Wilkie, big isn't Silky it? Big Silky Wilkie. A great guy. He was Wilkie. a hard big guy, yeah. wasn't he, Lee Wilkie? Lee Wilkie. Remember, he, was he the one that gave the two penalties every the Rangers that game? Do you remember that? No. <laughs> Terrible point, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Craig Conway, he was a... Uh, he actually had a really good side. Yeah, that was a cracking team at Dun United team. I can remember that, side. They were brilliant, weren't they? Uh -huh. Wonder if they kept all the players said they went on to win the league? No. Not a chance. <laughs> uh, see the young boy Hibs, did they do jobs? Like, so did they boot polish the boots and then Martin Boyle's head? <laughs> it's a terrible transfer. Maybe he's from Poland, isn't he? 
Oh, he's rapid, uh, yeah, he's a good Do you player. appreciate players like that? No, but see with your all but ability and he's just all about speed. Do you appreciate aye. players like that, aye? Aye, because if he's not got the speed, then you maybe he's getting on the end of the pass, pass isn't it? Uh, no, they, they don't do much jobs at that hips, to be fair. Do they not? Uh, they've got, obviously, a training centre. When we were at Dundee United, we were like Tanner Dice then, driving across to St Andrews and that, so at hips, it's kind of, they've got the boots to do, put the, pump the balls up, it's not the like, not like way it used to be, but... How are you some set up for there. Good, aye. It's, it's really close now at Hibs because they all have lunch together, we're on the gym at the same time together, so it's, whereas at Celtic you wouldn't always see the young players, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, number 10 you play? Always a number 10 or was it somebody that says to you, I'm going to get you in the hole, man? Well, <laughs> oh, I'm not making that joke again. I'm being serious, because like, back then, no, not a lot of people number 10, no, a midfielder. Yeah, a midfielder, I, a midfielder. Number 10 can I came. When I went to Pompey, I went to Portsmouth for oh, what a film loan. Yeah. That is brilliant. Oh, you used to have been there, I guess. Oh, what a place, mate. It's like being a home. Who was doing who was there before were you were there after Sai? Before Sai. He was there before me. Well he played in a decent port. You did you play Southampton? So South, nah, we drew with Southampton. South South they were like South legends, mate, because they drew with Southampton. Was that in the were they in Portsmouth in the low league then when they drew with Championship. Championship you said. Championship, aye. So like Kevin Kitman there? Kevin Kitman, Canu was there. Canu, was he? No way, come on, Gazer, what was Canu like? He used to bowl through with a walking stick, mate. You throw my voice, start juggling. <laughs> I swear to God, it was me. Benjani. Benjani was there. Oh, was Benjani there as well, eh? Huh? Benjani. Oh, when was he? Ah, he was amazing, that boy. He was Harry Redknapp, wasn't he? He brought them over. Ah, he's yeah. amazing. He used to stink the green every day. He used to stink the green every day. Every day. Stink the green. Oh, brilliant, man. He used to smoke. Imagine the big man on the munches. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the other munches. Kev, you've got a, a question about a legendary Scottish manager. Have I? Have I? <laughs> Thank Campbell. Anyway, no, I'm only joking. Or... I'm only joking. I've got the question here. Where is it? Uh, in terms of the manager you played under, what was Dick Campbell like? Because obviously, size interviewed him. We've all heard stories oh, about him. You what personally, what was your opinion? I still talk to Dick to this day. Do you? Aye, aye. Still to this day, even. We, we played our bro pre season, then played them in that, what's that cup that cup at the start of the year. Yeah. Uh, he's what, what meant to that cup. That cup. He's, he's what meant to the changing room when he, in the Middle East team taught him and he's like, sister, come on in that. What, while he's in his team taught him? Ah, like, no interest, he's like, the bro boys are saying that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the first time, the first game I went to for, for we played Allo away. And it, I fucking know what it's like now, I think it was League, it'd be League 2 now. No, League 1, sorry, it was second division. And Boz going over my head first half and I'm looking up thinking, fucking hell, I'm going for Dundee United if I'm no doing well here, I'm going to be fucked. So second half I got and I just started dropping deep and just drilling the ball, ended up we won 2-1, two assists and he comes in after the game and he's like, right Scotty, I'm never going to tell you how to play football again, you do what the fuck you want and that was, <laughs> that was it. The next three games, like we won the next three games and I get, I get called back to Dundee United. That's the beauty that's of Dick Tommy, isn't it? He's high. obviously seen that you didn't need to uh, talk to the... But I, I like travelling up with all the boys, like the boy Dan Brady, remember him? Uh-huh. Uh, Big temp- Templeton. Big Templeton, he's a good player, Templeton, mate. He, what, what a touch like he had there, big man, big Sandy. Uh, my feet and that, chopping people up. Uh, I loved it, I loved it there. You know, is it true As long that, as it was only a month, but it was just being in with proper guys, you know what I mean? I loved is it. Is it true that Dick Campbell and Paul McGinn share the same set of teeth? <laughs> <laughs> McGinn, some boy, man, you'll love it. Scotty boy, see when um, oh. you, you, you eventually left on United, what was the, the reasoning behind it? I didn't actually want to leave him, to be honest, it was just... It went that far, obviously, in the, in the press. Uh, like I was coming on for Dundee United the last week in the full stadium. Yeah, man, I remember it. Get my mates on it. Singing, get the fuck in that. Uh, <laughs> Mother, aye. Full stadium, aye. See, when that happens to you, Scott, this is just a wee bit of uh, years away. See, when fans get onto you, or players get onto you, does it affect you? No, I've. Well, I've, I've, I've kind of went through football with at least one set of fans hating me now. So, well, for that Dundee United time, so for early dolls, I was just going with it, so. That is what it is, isn't it? Uh, no, maybe not. I I'd, be, I'd, I'd mean, been there for I had been there for ten years. Do you know what I mean? So, so why did you, like, you tell us why? I, did you I honestly leave? didn't want to leave, but it just went that far. Obviously, a few things in the background with we, who's doing that that kind of sucked me into just get down the road. But see, what people didn't realise so like, and then I met Roy. Mate, we're coming to Roy. Ah, Roy. See, but see, when you're a young kid like that, you broke in, you're doing well, and you get offered four times your money somewhere else. I mean, crazy, how, crazy to stay side. The hard to turn down course it is. The people realise like, it. See, see, with good managers, good managers will pull you to the side and explain to you, like, we've got to offer you deal, we've got to keep you right, but ultimately, you need to better yourself. That's a good manager to me. Where yeah. you see this whole manager, like, who's whatever, then making it to you be the bad guy. I think that's wrong because 
We're in football to ultimately live out a dream and, and, and succeed. But at the same time, you're in there to make a living for your family, make your future better. It, it, like nobody in their right mind wouldn't move somewhere else for more money if it was going to better their life and better. I just don't get and better why. Your career as well. Better your friends, career, friends, like friends, opportunities. See, see, but, no, I don't understand. See if the club don't like you, say, and they let you go. Why is it not a big deal then? Do you know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I get shipped after every club I was sitting and they said I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, that right? That's the bottom of me, side. But who, I think... Who's the can crack? I know who's the can crack. Was there times where you were kind of at each other? Well, no, because I was just young at the time, so I was fucking... I was just like, keep myself quiet and... I was just... I was just buzzing to get into Dundee United. But my... Through growing up, through Dundee United, my whole aim was just to get into Dundee United first team. Mm. That was the way I looked at it. For, because I'd been there, so I was thinking of Dundee United first team. And then six games later, you're... Your off skis after being there so long. I was, I was the, I, I wasn't wanting to go to be honest, but by the time all the stuff had happened, it was, I couldn't say no. Basically. I like Twisty too. He was my uh, youth team manager at Scott and just tells you like it is now. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> like Hoosty. He was in, he came out of Celtic when I was there. Is that, should he come in at some point? We spoke, we, we spoke after when I, I came back and I'd met him when we were I in Scotland 21. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you went down to for old Roy. Roy Hodgson, does he keep a bag of other originals in his pockets all the time? <laughs> Pure old guy, isn't he? Fisherman's <laughs> friends. <laughs> How was he? What a guy Roy is, eh? Oh, Roy's brilliant, man. Who were the boys bathing him? Scotty, see, see me Roy's training, right? I get told this, see in training, we choose this shape, right? And you're only allowed to move out through one box type thing. You, so each player no, gets. No, it's 4 4 2 every day. And if you played in the right, you don't look. He came into that side of the park. To yeah, that side of the park. Mental, yeah. And he would get the, the two balls under his arm, he'd just be like, he pings that. <laughs> <laughs> See the way he done his arms, man. That's perfect. He used to do things that. Oh, oh, oh my! Can you crack Roy Hodgson? Hi, hi. I can. We were playing, so I came back for Portsmouth and been in the squads the last uh, couple of games of the, of the the Premiership season. That they'd finished tenth, and we played Arsenal. Don scored a Don scored a couple of good goals. It looked four three. Guy uh, Martin Phillips, remember the uh -huh. boy that died? He he played in goals that day. And uh, after the game, he thought that because we'd been beat, that we hadn't finished 10th, and he's went to volley the bin, and he's got now the black bins with the wee peg at the side of it. He's flicking shit flickers, get caught on it, and he's <laughs> get danced a bit, not changing him. <laughs> fucking grabbing oh, the bin. Oh, and then suddenly, so went, Gaffer, we finished 10th, didn't even know if we'd finished 11th. Right. The, the highest result in West Brom's history, man, the boys were pissing themselves, but as a guy, he was just. Do you think he was jealous of your looks, Roy? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think he'd have struggled with that side, you know, what so he's right. He speaks that. about five languages, doesn't he? Uh, he's been a cover guy, isn't he? He's been about the whole, the whole Europe, is he? What, uh, what a career he's had, eh? He, was it Switzerland he was in as well? That's Switzerland and then yeah, Blackburn Sweden. Rovers. Yeah, Sweden, uh -huh. Malmo. Blackburn, you're right. Was Malmo, Blackburn, I? Malmo, right. So you uh, West Brom, you had, you had some good players in that squad, I take it, so I'm going to take this question. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the ball now, right? That's it, I'm big man. Lukaku. What was he like? Was he brilliant? Was he good or was he raw? Lukaku practised. Every single day, aye. Really? Aye, even aye. after training, I was never finishing. Wasn't all his first time, aye. Practicing, though, was no. it? All the time, that's the one I'd say. Certainly, he's just played the NBA thing all the time, but see, after training, he was he was always doing the extra finishing. So, one I'd say about him. Is, is he a big guy? Uh, sorry. Is he a big guy? Like, uh, you know how he looks guy. big? Like, is he no, you know, no is six he foot four, is he? <laughs> is he about six foot four? Fucking mungus, Bob. You could see when you see him, could you tell that he'd go to the top? Nah. Be <laughs> honest. Just be honest. Right. Mate. He's not going to come He's not going to come see, 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 oh, see, see boys in the house changing room. Do they ever talk about me? No. All the time. Do they? Hang? All the like time. Uh, Sorry, mate. Go back to. I was showing you the English boys the other day. Oh, did you? Oh, like, yeah. mate, the, the boys. Do you know who the Inter Miami boys have been talking to me? Say, uh, Lewis Morgan. So he's obviously got the Miami boys on his right. own, and then they're going to go as there in the summer as well, say. Si. Um, but they said. Kev can he make it that day, say, so it's just going to be me, I'm going to make it big man. Uh, it's got anyway, back on the... Beat Beckham, it's all right, I played against him. Aye! 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 They boys for Chelsea were going here, there, and everywhere. Mm. Who else at West Brom was good? Dorans. Dorans was a player, mate, wasn't he? Remember that year he absolutely ripped the championship, didn't he? Aye, aye. Dorans, like passing, sport of obviously passing forward and that, wrapping through the lines. I really liked Dorans. James Morrison. Odin Wingy. Odin Wingy was a good oh, player. Were Odin you there when he was yeah. trying to get that move? Aye, aye, <laughs> I was, in fact, I could run a QPR talk for him the next day in the change. No chance. Odin Wingy. Did he take it well? 
No, he didn't. He was fair. He was decent for that move, wasn't he? That was brilliant, wasn't it? He just sat inside the car for me. What did you say to him in that? Anelka was there. I was, no dri- way. I was driving Anelka to training for the first three weeks that he signed. Wow. He, did, he, did, he didn't want to take his motor in because it was too flashy for West Brom. <laughs> 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 what was his motor? <laughs> Some Ferrari thing. He, he oh, was coming for Juventus, wasn't he? Super. How was it? How I was, was so nervous. I was so nervous, mate. I was like, even like questioning what music I would put on. So I was putting on David Guetta because it was fresh. <laughs> 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 what motor did you have? Uh, a Q7. Did you think. fart in the motor? No. <laughs> the guys, he just, just smell amazing. He's cool, isn't he? Oh, so I cool. like an Elka man. He's got a bit of bit of. Is that his money done? That's that voting. Uh, what a it's legend he was, wasn't he? That's some big names, isn't it, West Brom? We done it. We done like now the four fours like through the the cones and that. Now that four yeah. four and nobody would overtake him. What nobody would overtake him. He was just trotting and we were all running right. <laughs> no, no. Can't take over an elk, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that how you never broke through there, Scott? Because there's too many good players. Uh, I just think the, f- the fact Roy Hodge I had a really good relationship with Roy Hodge and he had me involved a lot. And then I'd done well at Pompey on that loan spell, so I was expecting to come back and get a good crack, obviously with Roy. But West Brom man, like it's England job. Mm. Did the young boys need to like wash his bib in that? And then Hibs, Slaney. I see when you went, you went uh, to Hibs and your first your first spell at them. That was an uh, amazing time for you, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked, mate. You're fucked, mate. Do you guys have any uh, stories about that time, Scotty boy? I'm not in the place. No. No, I can't. You're going to get out of the hideaway. Just two more dancers. That's oh, I'm gone, eh? Oh, you're right, sir. Oh, he's good. He's just going to be there. He's game at home, Scotty. He's game at home. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, my man. Oh, fuck. He's smelling. He's smelling, man. That's how you got on. Top four. Oh, you can't even. Oh, lovely. Why did you choose it? Why was Hibs the one spell, Scotty? That was two years. I'd went to Birmingham in between that, obviously, on loan and... The wee cads, weren't you? You poor cad. My God, what a guy he was. Just a wee piece of jam. He's dying for shocking, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he butters it first, though. <laughs> oh, she them people, mate. <laughs> Who was it, Lee Clark? It? Lee it? Clark, yeah, Jesus. He, he can lose it as well, can't he? Lee Clark, yeah. Lee Clark just totally bin me, to be fair. And then we played Kelly with Celtic. Uh, obviously, my first year under Ronnie Dylan. Comes bowling out, this guy, I told you you'd get to the top, no, that. <laughs> Are you fucking tired of putting me at Mars? Is it Abel Morris in there? Oh. Eh, no, I wasn't there with Abel. Jesse Lingard, Damari Gray, Peter Lovenkranz. That's a good side. You've got some players, I know. How is Lingard, mate? Come on, tell me to be too cool. He's annoying. Uh, what in the chain? No, he was alright. Was he? He was alright, aye. Good player. He was a good player, aye. He was a good player. What, uh, just running with the ball in there? Running with a bottle dead sharp. Dabs. A beige tackles. <laughs> G-lings. G-lings. <laughs> I can't stand them, mate. I don't know. It just annoys me, Si, that modern day player. I mean, when I was uh, coming through the game, Si, we were rough and ready, Si, ready to come down, that mean, mate. So. But now you've got the beats and that, so you... So I'm into all that now, Si. Now you're G-lings. You, you move on to the time. The time. Well, well, you do, I, I don't know when that'll be, but hey. <laughs> right, the madman coming. You've already spoke a bit about him, but... Come down. Any stories you can tell us about? Please don't say no. <laughs> Did you know Cummins growing up like, uh, like you now you play through the youth team and stuff. Did you know him, or did you only get introduced to him when you moved to Hibs? No, well, the day I signed with Hibs, he was signing his new deal. Uh, so he obviously t- t- turned up at Easter Road, and we both had the same agent. So the, the agent was always telling you to meet this boy Cummins, and you know, I've never. This geezer's just. I, I thought you need to get him on. Do you know what I mean? I don't do him any justice and like <laughs> telling the stories. He, the, that boy just doesn't know what's going to come out his mouth. Has he got big time shouts? No. Now, remember that, remember it was a touch but, and angel? Aye, the touch like, and, it depends if your class that is a big time. Like, no, I think that's funny though. No, I think that's funny, do you know what I mean? Big time would be funny though, I mean. Some uh-huh. people say, ah, oh, that's big time, but it's... No, I don't mean big time, I mean like funny big time. Aye, funny big time. Uh-huh. Funny big time, but I'm trying to think of some of the stories I could tell her. Oh, he loves a barnet, doesn't he? Oh, he's, he's a Why great lad. Why don't you get your barnet like coming to the hydro? I can't, mate. Because I can't, I'm receding. Imagine that, I just got the bit back there, si. Still As grows though. Receders uh, still grow, you could do it. Think so? Uh, we'll uh, get that. We'll get that for the height. I'll tell you what, he can finish though, do you know what I mean? Uh, I've heard he's a, he's, a, he's a bronc trainer as well. <laughs> oh, do you know? <laughs> 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 Is he a bad trainer? Ah, uh? uh, he's a bad trainer. He says he's first date at Shrewsbury, he's doing like a shooting drill and he says, obviously I've come in. But obviously meant to be the main striker and that. And he's, uh, he's into, the, into the assistant manager lay off and he says, I'm hitting <laughs> shots on my left foot and I'm dragging him. The boys are like, oh, he must be right-footed, they all thought he was right-footed. 
Oh, <laughs> says, yeah, I'm not gonna, ah, says, I might not recover for this now, one of the ones. Oh, brilliant. But the first couple of days, you, you, oh, I think when you go to a club, you, you, we were you don't week. do things like naturally you would do. You're, you're, it's the worst, you're isn't it? nervous, aye. Somebody takes over your body for two days. Ah, yeah, they do. But you're so tense. You think you were speaking about you, didn't you? Ah, we bulks might be soft, it looked dead heavy. I know, I was trying step over the room, man. That was fucking step over. So. What about the dressing room at Kev Tibbs? What about the dressing room Hibs Kev? <laughs> you asking me? Ask Scott, you? you can ask Scott in general. No, obviously in the... In, y- y- um... <laughs> what was the dressing room like at Hibs? Because there's obviously some big characters in there too. Anyone else for us? Who else was good? Uh, Boiler's obviously loud. The assistant, John, John, John Potter. Potter. John Potter's a great guy, yeah. Well, boy, will be good oh, you, you, you thought you didn't make Darren Potter, didn't I you? Darren Potter, I, I made that mistake. Oh, uh, I think it was in your interview, Si, we did one to one. Gordon Darren Potter? Gordon Darren Potter. You played for MK Don, you're a good player, Darren Potter. I, Darren, I, I played, played with Darren Potter. Did you? Where about it? MK Don. He was good, mate, Darren Potter, wasn't he? Scouser. Aye, no doubt. You didn't give a shite, didn't you? No, he's... Aye, no, I think we're doing a... Did you like a bit past it sideways? I think Sunderland were doing a video. Oh. Something and they put a clip of me calling him Darren Potter because I'd like Scott used to play against him. He loved love playing against uh, big pots because big hardy trier, but he just wasn't as a. Um, <laughs> he, was get, he was getting called Darren Potter for a few days. Oh, was he? Uh, I, I, no, he is a really funny guy. Like oh, he, I, I was at the the fair, for a couple of weeks to try and get fit, and uh, he was there and he was he was he, he sound sound guy. Scotty, but, sorry, sorry, si. none you go. Mer- Thirty new mere anxiety times, say. Is that right? Yeah. Aye. When Alan Stubbs and Mark Warburton were firing Anxious shots things. at each other. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shots? Right. Say how, that again. How were you when Stubbs and Warburton were coming for each other in the press? How was it you? Because it was about you. Do you know what I mean? Did you struggle with all that at that time? Uh, I can't even really remember. That, that, no. I was asked that much going on. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I'd get into being with else, innit? <laughs> <laughs> what was Big Stubbs you like? Did you like him? Aye, I liked him. I liked him at Hibs, aye. I liked him at Hibs. But see that whole, see that whole saga when the, the Rangers thing was happening? Mm-hmm. Were, were Hibs, were Hibs playing hard? They didn't want you to leave or what was the story behind all that? Because uh, they were in the same league, weren't they? Didn't they aye, they were in the, the same league, they just didn't want to sell with the Rangers. That was see, but obviously aye, you were a Rangers aye. fan growing up, Scott. See, when you first heard the, the, the Rangers interest, you must have been Buzzing. I seen it. I'd, I'd had the interest before, twice before. So, like the way it went before, I was. I nothing's ever there until it's in front of you. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I'd been through it twice before. Obviously, when I went to West Brom, and then before I'd went to Hibs. So, I'd, I'd been through it all before. Would yeah. Stubbs pull you on the side and say, "Listen, Scott, this is what's happening," or was it just kind of left to yourself? <laughs> nah, Stubbs, Stubbs, he was. He was good like that, was he? Ah, huh? this, this is what ha- This is what's happening. Just Stubbs, he was saying, aye. But <laughs> he actually, we interviewed him and he said that he told Mark Warburton, do not bid for Scotty again, that's it, finished. And Warburton came in again, and I think that's when Stubbs said that he'd, he'd lost all respect for him. Were you aware of all this? Yes, right. I, I forgot what I was going on, it seems like a lifetime ago, only four years ago. Uh, I see they things, man, but there's, there's nothing that's out of my control, that two managers talking about a player, you know what I mean? I just, it was my first full season back playing again, like week in, week out, I was just. Obviously, flattered with interest with a few teams, you know what I mean? But say, why would Stubbs say that? Like, don't put another bid in. Surely, if you're Rangers, you're, you're, if you want to play, you're going to put as many bids in as you want. Do you know what I mean? But I think Stubbs was saying is because the both of them are going for the league, he says no matter oh, so what you bid. Until accept, the summer, right. we're not accepting right, okay. it. And he still, right. he still put it in. So you could kind of see his point of view. But obviously, Rangers are desperate to get to get their player as well, aren't they? Yeah. That was a hard time. I remember that I was really feeling all the place for you, Scott. I was really struggling with that size. Well, really, you really, were really struggling with that. That was the time, say, a lot of people were saying, I look like Scotty, do not need to say. I maybe took it a bit too far. Did you ever, was there ever a bit of advice? Did he ever offer you a bit of advice or if you need a shot to give him a shout? Did that ever come for Paul? Not at all, no. Not at all, so I ain't interested. As I've said many a time, so I'll keep saying it. <laughs> uh, but see, when it came to that pre season, obviously, you had a great season with him. Did you, did you know that you would be leaving Hibs at Ah, I knew at some point I'd probably leave him, but I think I played the first league game. I think we played Dumbarton, got beat off Dumbarton. I think after you that, just like, in that. <laughs> I had just Louis Stevenson. I still told that I said that was the worst they'd ever seen me that day. <laughs> John, is that a tough trying to play for John you Collins? Is there must have seen something though? <laughs> <laughs> was John Collins there? Was he in the Dumbarton game? And he John signed Collins, you off the back. Uh, uh, John Collins was there. That's worrying, isn't it? McGinn came on that day. John McGinn? Aye, uh, John McGinn had signed for us. Could you tell straight away that he was going to, he'd go to the top? There's another question. A when, question. When, when McGinn I mean, came? More that, see, I c- couldn't really tell him training because I hadn't played a game with him. That was the first time he was, he came quite late on because he was meant to go to 
Houston, I think it was. He was in MLS. Houston Dynamo. Ah, Houston yeah. Dynamo. Yeah, that's where he wanted to go. And obviously he came to Hibs. But when I went back under Lenny, like with John, like, you don't know, sometimes you don't really know how somebody, how good somebody is until you're in the same team as them. And like, he's driving with the ball and sucking people out. So that's how I was getting space all the time. Yeah. He'd drive with the ball. He could hit 40, 30 yarders and score. So I knew he would, I knew like going to Avril, he would, he would do well. Uh-huh. See, just sorry, and Lenny, what's the, what's the worst you've seen him go after a game? Hearts, the Hearts game, well, we beat 2 1, we'd been unbeaten, then we changed the shape that night. Brandon Barker played, and he came in and looked wee, St- wee Steve on that, was caught in it because he had Moldy's on, didn't he? Steve on him? Oh, Stevenson. Oh, he hates Moldy, the head defenders wear Moldy's. Slipping and sliding. Right, Kev, you're up. Oh, what are you going to say? Oh, on you go. No, go say it. Uh, come on, come no, on. No, just that, that fucking, that night's fucking. What was he doing? Just booting things and. I can't watch that, I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't watch that, I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait, that accent is tremendous. Uh, that's TV fella, so that was like the Hibs accent because Lenny made everybody laugh at their kind of stages, you know what I mean? But did he, get, did he crack at you, Lenny? Really? Never, no. Do no? you think he was brilliant, Scott, Lenny? Oh, I thought he was top Amazing, eh? Top five. Just what, setting standards and that? Huh? It was more like the passing that was, it was big for him, even like. The weight of passes, not even in training, which was a big deal for him, and I think that kind of makes a wee difference, doesn't it? Massive uh, passing. It does. Obviously, his game was all about that side, but I struggled with passing. That I mean, uh-huh. I hated it, mate. Honestly, but you was amazing. Passer, you slap it, didn't you? Slap it, side. Do you know what I mean? That's oh, uh-huh. no, horrible. Uh-huh. That, uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> See when the pressure's on, and you go to kick it, and you feel your legs pulling back for your side. Did you <laughs> somebody's got you? Did you play that Swindon game against Pompey against us? What was the score? Five one. We beat as a hat came on at half. New day. Year's Day, wasn't it? That was right. New Year's Day. James Collins scored four. Oh, you were talking to each other during the game? I imagine you were a, 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 a loud guy on the pitch in oh people's God. ears and that. No. No, I wasn't. No, it? are you? No. I was asking him about the know, pictures no. he'd been liking on Instagram that day. He did make his game see. Right, Ryan Kev, we'll go on to the Celtic then. Let's go. Let's hear it. Aye, oh, no, first there was a rumour we were at the highest with Hibs. It's, oh, the pictures I'm liking, you must be liking. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it. Caught. Caught. Get that bit out. Hey, man, who cares? Like, uh, go on, Kev. Being at Hibs, at what point was interest the Celtic come along? It sounds like and did you, how did you feel about like, going to Celtic? It's obviously Simon alluded there earlier that you were a Rangers fan. Bruni, Bruni had phoned me, didn't he? And I had a long, like, a long conversation with Bruni on the phone. So that must have been about a week before it actually actually happened. And it was the question, would you come here? Do you know what I mean? That's... It's amazing how that happens, like how like agents and third parties get absolutely lambasted for like poaching a player. And it's like no herb move, but whereas now the new tactic is... Do you know that player for so and so? Give him a wee phone and see how he is. Because I remember a few players back in my time phoning me and said, Hey, how you doing, big man? So and so. I'm like, I'm all right. Maybe fancy coming at a. What would you think of coming here? Aye. So it's a way that players get around it. So it's always just to kind of see the interest. What did they. Sorry about that shite there. <laughs> He's trying his best. He's trying his best. He's trying his best. I've got my toast today. It's all right. Say that you're feeling me. No, no, no. The doll's there, mate. It's all right. You'll get your moment in May. It's all right. Scotty, what did Bruno say to you? I'm not telling you. I'm going to do the phone at my day, actually. No, you won't. No, I was good. Sorry. A long combo with Bruno. I wonder how that goes, man. Scott, can you just, like, stop? Going for him and he's feeling really under his massive pressure. Like, I can see Jeremy Kyle getting phoned again this afternoon. Dr. Jeremy. <laughs> Dr. Jeremy. Uh, was there a point that you had to choose between the two? No, no, never. Never, came, never came down to that, no. Because Rangers had made a few low bids, I think it was, like instalments, and I think that's what angered Tibbs to begin with. And then by the time that had happened, that was, they also didn't have the money to pay for the transfer fee that. Celtic were going to play and Celtic gave them McGeoch and Henderson as well. Right. So was there any other teams or was it just Celtic at that point? Just Celtic at that point, aye. How did you feel, obviously as we've said you were a Rangers fan, how did, how did it feel when you're like driving there and you're going to, was there any thoughts in that I can't do this? Uh, I see that whole time, it's, it's kind of blurry for me, do you know what I mean, because I was getting abused everywhere I went, do you know what I mean, oh, even yeah. when I left uh, that, whole, that first year, even still to this day I got a lot, a lot of it I'm still Rangers fans, you know what I mean, like, Obviously, because I went, uh, but that first, the first month for that was, was not leaving, leaving the house, going to the garage for petrol. What, even in Bovo? Aye. No way, didn't aye. I get people like that in Bovo, did Oh, you did, aye. What sort of stuff, just like? Just abuse, and I had my wee boy by that point, like those guys that rolling their windows down, and you're 
what, holding a baby, do you know what I mean? Shouting things out the window. Three guys turned. Why turned. did you do that to him? That's kind of I've done that, Si. In a bad place at that time, Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I want to be ask you, right? Seeing that position, do you think you could go to, if you were a, t- a supporter of a team, do you think you could go to the rival? It's hard, isn't I it? I think you maybe need Again, to that. It comes in and you've got a kid, you're getting yeah. offered four times. I, I'll, I'll be you're honest. Getting... You're not going there thinking every, that shit. Every player has a belief that they can go somewhere and play. Do you know what I mean? That's the way I felt. I felt I could go there and, and play. Obviously, it wasn't it to be, but mm. that was definitely my mindset and the chance, obviously, to play in European games, and that which I'd, I'd never done, you know. Yeah. I'd, I'd obviously had a hard spell down in England, came back up a good season at Hibs in the, champions, the Championship. And then Celtic came in, it's, it's a hard one, you know. I always think, man, I played with Swindon in League One playoff final. Sorry, semi final we got to. Two years later, I was playing for Peter Head at part time. Yeah, how hard so is that? So I always think, see if you get a chance yeah, to better yourself, to make money, do better in your career, you need to take it. Of course, no, you do, Simon, man. you're it's absolutely right. Two years, you could be playing part time. Sitting these two dicks. You're absolutely 100% right. On both occasions there. <laughs> uh, but uh, the thing is, it's like you've got to look after yourself because, like you say, if you swindling to Peterhead, regardless of what everybody thinks of that, you're still playing football, enjoying it, working, providing for your family. I went for Rangers to fucking here to retire, sitting talking to you, Steve. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you just yeah. got to take each moment as it comes and make a decision and go with it. You can't think about the what ifs or what might be's. Just make a decision, go away and see how your career pans out. If it goes for you, superb. If it how, doesn't, then how do you make life. a right decision in football? You know I mean? How no. do you make the? I look at John McGinn. It's important. Like we talked about him earlier on in the questions, going to Hibs, and then he's got a choice of maybe going to Celtic and Celtic didn't quite get the job over line, but he goes to Villa. I know he's being talked yeah. about as potentially a Man move United. to Aston yeah. Man United in the summer. So who knows? It's just it's just football's a lot about luck. Because yeah. nobody has the answer. Uh, the big dressing room like with Bruni and Charlie, was it brilliant banter on there? Ah, it was good with it too. Give us a few wee story please if you don't mind me asking. Uh, Charlie's daft, isn't he? But funny da. Charlie's, uh, it's just Charlie telling stories and he, he laughs and he laughs into you, doesn't yeah. he? No, I think Charlie could be the funniest in the game. <laughs> uh, he Sorry. makes you feel part of his uh, story, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. We, went, we went to uh, Marbella for Charlie's 30th and Charlie took all his uncles. Okay, have, you, have you heard about all Charlie's uncles? Are they Kirky or not? They're Kirky, aye, they were drinking the local up there. And, I'd never met him, do you know what I mean? Guy Franny and that. Oh, is that the aye, angry guy? Aye. Aye. <laughs> so first day we were at the pool, me, Bruni, Dylan was with us, and Big Charlie and his five uncles, all over the age of like 30 and that. And the guy Franny's, what about Charlie, Charlie? Hello. Charlie picks him up, whack into the pool. That's my fucking phone, Charlie, you prick. <laughs> the phone, the wee knock is just like, no, I'm pulling it. <laughs> Charlie, it's like, Franny, somebody's on the phone for you. <laughs> Try to fight Charlie, didn't he? You Did know, he do Try to take him back. Oh, got to no, sin, go to sin, but his other uncle got kicked out of the hotel. He had to go and stay in another hotel. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Did you need to bin your Rangers pyjamas when you signed for something? <laughs> or did you keep wearing them? <laughs> oh, fuck. Because all your mates and that as well, was it Andy Halliday, your pal, Matt, they are all big Rangers fans. Did you get a bit of stick for them as well? Yeah. Uh, I mean, me and Andy had, had, had a picture on Instagram since, I don't think. Have you known that? No, but no, I just, obviously, me and Andy, I've known Andy since I was five, you know, so. Did um, James ever speak about me? James Forrest? <laughs> All the time. Did he actually? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who impressed you? No, he, did, it, he like? actually did. Did he? He did, aye. Seeing, seeing Celtic, that dressing room, see like guys like Bruni and all that, was, was their mentality different from what you'd ever seen before? Eh... Uh, Aye, I would, I would say t- that season was a, it was actually a, a hard season for, for us as a club because Aberdeen ran us quite close, remember mm. that season, Ronnie Dyer, last season? And in, in Europe, we didn't really do well. Uh, we were talking about that Ajax game, didn't you? Know, you had that one. Who coming. was that? Charlie walked off, was that that one? Char- no, he didn't walk, he was injured. How I many he was injured, didn't he? Uh, but even Bruno, like every day, even the warm ups were treated seriously. I'd never seen that kind of, like, have you seen him in the. In a oh, warm-up, every wired, single day, wired, right, first like 100%, even in a warm-up, where I would have thought he'd have been quite relaxed. Would you have, would you have thought, Scotty, that you'd have got maybe a chance that season? In the Ronnie Dyla season, I, I, I did, I. Did, I he say the start, did he say to the start that you're going to play? No, he didn't. He, did he, even at that time, we still had some good players, like Chris Commons and that as well, who had been a good servant for Celtic, you know, and always scored big goals. But I still, I thought I'd have started more games. But he kind of seen that season as well, Si. James fell away as well, didn't he? Uh, James, 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 James,
I couldn't believe that we died on the other side. That's Colors a black mark like against Brazil, did he? I've always said, say, he, he's one of the most special clubs that the, the, this Celtic's ever had, say. And for them to, to be like that way, say, I couldn't quite understand that. That was strange. What were they like about the place, Collins and all that? Were they, was it hard work with them? Because well, we Colin loves his cell, doesn't he? <laughs> Does he? I don't know. Is he? Is he? Who's this? John Collins. John Collins. Who? John Collins. Uh, yeah, I, I actually, the six pack. I uh, actually thought yeah. John, some of John Collins' things on football were good, to be honest. Uh, good ideas. Uh, maybe just, obviously you always hear the old stuff about, at the Hibs, you know what I mean? But me personally, I've, some, like once football played the right way, you know yeah. what I mean? The, the ideas are right. Just it was maybe a, a strange mix way. I don't think John Collins is, is, is Billy Big Time. I think he's just got an arrogance of Collins because he's got a Because he was a good player. Uh, he was exactly. a fucking top player, by the uh, way. So player. he's got a standard that he wants set. And so he, he'll probably just try to instill that in every team. Can he listen to him? <laughs> 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 See, when you were on the point, Scotty, would you go and chat Ronnie Dyer's door and say, like, what's happening here? Uh, sometimes, I, but like, you just get you as quick as you can, isn't it? Well, just like change the subject and Change the subject, aye. Or you're training well, just wait your chance, kind of thing. I, I, I always come on you. left mid for, for Celtic. Can I ask you a question, right? Um, for anybody, like, what's the mindset like there? See, when you you went to Celtic, you're hoping to try and get your career playing a bit of a big club week in, week out. You don't get quite the run of games that you're looking for. You've chapped the manager's door, like you said. What do you think then? Because a lot of people hear this perception from the outside that, oh, he's just quite happy to stay there and pick up his money. And that's never the case. Never. So that's what I'm asking you. Like, what are you thinking there at that point? Are you thinking, right? How do I get out of here, or how do I get in the team? What, 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 what are you thinking there? Because obviously you, you've had a great season at Hibs. You've shown that you were capable of playing in that level of football. You just couldn't get that opportunity consistently at Celtic. Like for last year's probably the best instance I could give for it. Like I'd, I'd been involved. Like Rogers had said at the start of the season, you'll be part of the squad this year. And then first game of the season came against Levy, and I wasn't in the squad, so. Very, very quickly after that, I knew I, I'm not going to play here. It's just one of the things. So yeah. I actually done, I actually trained even more. I started got to the gym constantly. I actually became obsessed with going to the gym, doing spin classes at night after training. Yeah, yeah. So I hardly missed a training session the whole of last season, but didn't play any games. You know what I mean? How was that for the head? Well, that's why I started doing that yoga and all that. I was, I ended up, like, I, I got myself, I got myself to Christmas, right? I thought, right, I've managed to go to Hibs in January, really any, and then I wasn't allowed to go to Hibs. Why not? That's, Peter says I couldn't go to Hibs. Right. Uh, they'd, obviously they'd done Hibs too many favours in the past, so that was off the table. I thought that would I get pushed through. Uh, and then second part of the season again, just it was the gym and all that, doing extra stuff at night, kind of kept me sane. And that's Were you ever given a reason why you weren't, a, why you weren't a playing? No, because I, I remember Brendan coming out and saying I'd trained really well and all that in the press. He'd never said that I wasn't training well or I wasn't good enough. It was just, we had good good players that had done a good job for Celtic over the three seasons, you know what I mean? So I just put it down to that and I'd already dealt with it in my head that I wasn't going to be there. So you see when Rodgers came in, I thought this will probably be Scotty's mm -hmm. best chance of playing no. for Celtic under a manager like that. Uh, I like think Rogers. I think when I should have when I went to Rotherham I should have stayed and I might have got the chance that year, but I was just wanting to play football. Play football uh, yeah. We say uh, Rogers amazing. Ah, he's coaching, that's... I mean, everybody sees world class, eh? Yeah. Everybody sees world class, eh? Even the training was brilliant. Was it? Ah, every day. See, the thing as well, Scott, see if Lenny was at Celtic at that time, he'd probably played every week, eh? Well, I, I don't know, I'd, I'd have got an opportunity at least anyway, mm -hmm. for sure, but... That's what's one of the things, but that's, as I say, last year, that it was all the extra stuff I'd done that kind of... kept me right for this season, and I played nearly every game this year. See, you're not know, playing every week, it's the worst. You can't even enjoy your Chinese on a Saturday night when you've not played there. You think, I don't deserve this. Have, have you, played, have you ever been in that situation that you don't really know why uh -huh. you're not playing? Uh -huh. That's hard, isn't it? Uh -huh. it's more, it was more the fact no being injured and no playing for a whole season. Do you know what I mean? You're playing yeah, every was, single day for was, a whole uh, season. But it's been a game. It's got, I know there was good players there, and, uh, top players there, but you're also a top player as well. Do you know what I mean, Si? So if, if you're training well, you should deserve an opportunity, Si. I think mm. there was times there, I think, you should have been brought in to give you a chance and see if you didn't play well, fair enough. But I don't think that was right and not to play him, Si, in my opinion. Have you ever bombed Kelly like Ike? Red player, I have to play Rezies in that. Coventry. Um, went and known to Wolves after the second season there and I came back and I thought, right, last season I've got to do this for me because if I don't date Coventry, I need to get myself a move somewhere else. And worked hard, did everything that was supposed to and then uh, went to pre-season, went away out there and Trained and then the first game of the season wasn't even in the squad and I thought, fucking hell. And then the second game, uh, 
it's the it's always is it the, the league cup on the Tuesday night after the first home game. Right. And I thought I'll, I'll get in this. They play, the, play the Joey's. I didn't even get in the squad. And that's when I chapped Chris Coleman's door. I was like, Gaff, I'm, I'm not I'm not getting a chance. What's what's going on? <clears throat> so you're, you're, you're no my type of player. Um, that's just how it is. But there was other factors as to why I wasn't. But understood it very quickly and. It's a horrible place to feel, but you've just got to figure out, right, how do we move forward, and that's when... It's when that team sheet goes up on the Friday and your name's not... That's in, that, it's, that it's, kills you, mate. It's so hard the, the to take, The squad, yeah. there's 20 names there, and you're not on it, man. They win a game... Everybody's got their trackies on. You're at, you, no, you've got well, your trackie in, but you need to wear it home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, shit, <laughs> you know what I'm feeling? You've got your trackie in. So why and you're you, like, you're like, you're like, you're getting back in your mind. why did you get bombed this one? Ah, we had Paul Hart, he was a clown there. That was Paul Hart, so was I. Who? Paul Hart, remember? Paul Hart. Did you need to play Rezies? Did you need to go and play at high? No, I didn't need to go play Rezies. I've told you the story about Donati, didn't I? When Strachan bombed him. Aye. Big Massimo man, brilliant. He was fucking bombed. They said like he was not getting in the game, so he had to play Rezies and we were driving to the Falkirk. Remember Danny Lafferty? Aye. Quite a few back. Big Mass is like that. Sitting next to him on the bus, I used to play sitting with him in the Rezies. Like that. Simon, what's happened? So I go from the San Sirio to the fucking Falkirk Stadium. From Paolo Maldini to fucking Fanny Lafferty. Is <laughs> <laughs> that what he says? That was amazing, eh? Oh, brilliant. Um, so, did it come at a time where you thought I need to get out of here? Uh, of Celtic. Did you want to leave completely or was it just alone? When are you talking in that la- last year? That last year. I, I, just wanted, I just wanted to go and get, get back to playing. I'd, I'd done the own stints fucking plenty of times in my career. That, that just, it's not always the best thing for you, you know what I mean? But... I thought the Hibs thing would have happened and it, it didn't, so that extra four months is what I had to go through. But Do you see that as a waste of time in your career? That aye. Sell- uh-huh. aye. No. Aye. Well, aye. well, definitely last year, it was uh, generally a full season out of football, you know what I mean? That's what people mean. didn't see that as well, eh? Like, and see this, si, and I'm going to say this right now for everybody listening. I've never came across a player, Sai, it just wants to sit there for money. I have never seen it, Si. No. People want to go and play. Of course, money's part of the game and part of his life, Si. But I've never seen a player, Si, going like that. I don't want to play, I'll just sit here for money. I've never seen it in my life. Have you? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's testament to your character, Scotty, that you, 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 you had all that like waste of time, I would say, and you've kept, still kept yourself right physically, mentally, to be able to go to Hibs this year and, and, and get your career, get people talking about you again. Aye. Because it, it, you can just disappear. That's how football no, no, works. You can, no, you can. Oh, how you good can. was the 29th of the month though when the, the wages went? The 29th of oh, the Celtic? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I'm Makes it even better, doesn't it? That's all right, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went to Dundee as well, didn't you? I went to Dundee. Terry yeah. McCann. What a guy. Mate, is he, the, is he angrier than Lenny? <laughs> Aye. Is he? Aye. One of you McCann's angrier than Lenny? Is he? Aye. Can he lose it? Well, maybe because we were getting beat every week, do you know what I mean? But uh, He had some good ideas to Neil McCann, didn't he? Like, he wanted to pass the ball, didn't did he? We just didn't have the, the right mix to get it done, but he did also, have the right ideas. defenders, you try to play it with the back, the Aye, defenders that couldn't bit the midfield to front, some of the play was excellent. Glen Kamara, Glen Kamara, I remember. Glen Kamara, I think he came on trial. Oh, fucking, he was unbelievable. Was he, huh? Aye. Uh, but I liked Neil McCann, I got on, I got on well McCann, uh, with McCann. I was, just, I was happy to get away though in, in January, to be honest, to go to... To go to Hibs, but I had a good time there. Great group of boys, obviously, Gowser and that, who you spoke about. Did you, how did you get on with Gowser, right? I love Gowser, eh? Angry man as well, eh? Angry. Would McCann offer boys square goals, eh? Uh, I think he offered Randy Walt, remember Randy Walt? What? The, the Dutch boy? <laughs> 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 what I mean, Matt, isn't it, Randy? Did he offer him a square goal, eh? Uh, but Randy was quite, he was game for it as well, but... But what are you doing? That's just a magic of you as a square Who's Neil McCann fighting? That's no, I've heard, I've heard Neil McCann can go, go for it. it. Oh, I swear, that's a fact. No chance. I've heard down. he can go, mate. I've heard that as well. Uh-huh. Maybe find out one day. He's from Port Glasgow, isn't he? I think he's quite a, quite a boy. What do you mean because you're from somewhere you're hard as fuck? I'm just no, soft as shit. We're starting our shit house, ain't he? Right, but he's back at Easter Road, Kev. He's back at Easter Road. Back at home. Do you feel at home? I feel at home at Easter Road. I... I've just got a really good relationship with basically everybody at the club, even like upstairs and all the fans. So, who's that Rod Petrie? He's not there. He's not there. Damn, them such good. Ah, he's a class. You met the Proclaimers? No, have you? Have you not? No, I've not met them. No. (laughs) 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 What? See on Easter Road. Yeah. Talk us through an SPL game. Talk us through the field. Talk us through the smell. (laughs) Smell. Smell like grass. (laughs) You know that smell, did you? 
<laughs> you know he's out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, can you get top? Can you get top three, Scotty? Uh, we'd need to put a we'd need to put a really strong run together. Uh, and obviously, look, see if like Aberdeen and, and Motherwell don't pick up results. But as I, as I said, that, that that was a big week for us. I felt the two games were were, were big for us, and obviously disappointing. So we've got a massive game this Saturday. We, St Johnston because they're three points behind us I'm sure and he just on Jack Ross you've worked with guys like Roy yeah. Hodgson and that is he, is he in that same sort of mode? aye because he's a, he's a, he's a man manager you know what I mean yeah. like, he's, he's a good person first and foremost I think that helps you know what I mean when, mm -hmm. when the boys like you know what I get and play for you yeah. there's been a massive difference since he's come in but isn't there ah, we have, I mean, because just the way he's a player and stuff as well been amazing we're a 3-5-2 team I think do you know what I mean we, we, we've got going forward and that's what, that's what the same as Lennon played I think that's why the Hibs fans were unhappy with it at the start of the season, because we were, we were playing with one up and it was not what they'd seen over the years, you know. Mm. Scotty Boyle. Since we go 3 5 2, you've got Boyle up, you've real pace in that. Yeah. So, where does Boyle play? Wing back? Wing back, aye. What's a great idea, didn't it? It was Boyle against Matty Kennedy, both wing backs on Saturday, do you know that? Wow. Unbelievable. Kennedy's good as well, too, isn't he? I like Kennedy. He's made a big difference to Aberdeen side. Kennedy was at Abs. Was he, uh, as a kid? He came and came along to Abs forever. Oh, did he? And then he went to Portsmouth. He was at Portsmouth as well, wasn't he? Bumpy, aye. What a place. Is he a good lad, Matty Kennedy? Is he? He's made a big difference. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Matty Kennedy. We're here to talk about Scotty Allen, Si. We obviously spoke, Si, earlier on about Billy Gilmore and Griffiths. Scotty boy, it'd be great to see you in the Scotland setup. Is that something you think you could reach? The international setup. That's superb, Si. That's a great question. That fucking That was amazing. Thanks, my man. I'm glad you turned up. That was the third date, by the way. Thanks, so, mate. Do I think I could get in the Scotland Aye. squad? Uh, I honestly don't know because uh, Steve Clark released me for West Brom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, superb, mate. Like, the Scotland, so Scotland just now from here, a defend, they're quite defensive team, yeah. aren't they? Aye. Aye. I there, Si. So see, like your, your number ten is not. I don't think you'll play with that. Si, certainly when you go away for home and stuff in the Euros, there's not going to play with number ten. Are they? I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to ask you as well. Sorry. Does that annoy you that you're branded as a ten? Everyone just thinks Scotland is just a number ten. Could, well, you go play, could you go and play centre midfield, Aye. box to box? So why, 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 why have you never really you played? played that? Did you play in left as well? Played in the Cut left. In the left See, I was at Portsmouth. I played right mid. Did you right? In that season of the championship. It's kind of since you came up to Scotland, don't it? You kind of uh, branded that number ten. I just think, I think people think they get more out, mate. And it depends what you're looking for. If you're wanting through ball, then number ten you can find. But it's half it's getting the ball through to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I'd probably prefer number eight. That's what I broke through at Dundee United in a free. Yeah. Uh, and you're, you're driving for deep and you're always involved in the game. Number 10's. It's one of the positions if you can, you can be quiet in that game, you know what I mean? And you need other moment, people to supply you, didn't you? And even uh, that, you're judged on the moment, you know what I mean? It makes up that many the, the limited time sometimes you get the ball. Uh, get Scotty Marlon centre midfield. Be brilliant, mate. It'd be great to see him there. Mate, in the Scotland set up needs a good looking boy side, you know what I mean? We're struggling at the moment, you know what I mean, mate? Since Charlie and. Oh, since Snoddy's on. Get me involved with the set up as well, side. We've got to go good looks. <laughs> big, did you see Big Charlie and uh, PT the other way? Good looking, good looking. Tremendous, man. Nice. Oh, he's stunning, isn't he, the big man? Oh, He'll go into telly, the big man, won't he? he will, Anything man. else, lads? I think that's us. Any else you want to ask the man? Maybe he's here. I'm just no, going to say this was a shambles today, man. <laughs> I'm right, getting sacked. I, tell you, I swear to God, right, see, we do the hydro. When we are doing the hydro, we need to rehearse it more than once. Correct, big man. Because that's a fucking joke. We just, well, I, I personally have had an absolute one out of ten today. Right? But I've slaughtered you twice, so I'm happy with that. I'll go home happy. We've man. got some good stories at that, man. That's ah, what it's No, I think it's good, Si, that we get guys on like Scotty Allen so that people can see the real person rather than the, what they presume to be somebody. So, you came across as a good looking motherfucker and you've destroyed Slaney, so for me, top man. Thanks, and Gary. even though you do play for Hibs and I'm not a big fan of Hibs, um, I'll sit with you for another five minutes. You want to Are you going to take him for a coffee? Aye, I'll go for one, mate. Aye. Let's go, boys. Right, Scott, cheers, mate. Thank you.